All right, Detect and Talk of the Day, Monday, April the 24th, 2023. Got these old days too here, boys. Girls, stay tuned. That's all I can tell you, okay? Now, I did a video, it's been a, mm, quite a few weeks ago. I'm going to do this, I'm going to say this again in this video here. Metal detector manufacturers making updatable metal detectors. <clears throat> when you're designing your detectors, it would be real good if you would make them where you could run two software versions. The machine could carry two software versions. This would help with testing. This would also help the users later on, okay? Might, might actually help their confidence with a newer version. They could go hunt with their older version they're used to and start checking targets. And this actually, believe it or not, even shows you know, how a company is, you know, improving their units. People get to see it firsthand, you know, rather than having to re-update or download, a, upload an older version, you know, to say, well, was I seeing things or what? Now, is this possible, what I'm saying? Well, I'd say the answer is yes, but I'm not going to tell you how I know this. I don't know the memory requirements for such a, you know, for such an operation, but metal detector companies need to do it when you start making new machines, okay? I'm just an old backwoods type, and I don't know much, okay? I just know enough to be dangerous. But anyway, that's the detecting talk of the day, and yeah, you DS2 owners, stay tuned. Have a nice day.